Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 28th, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Now, you know that I'm going to use my Radley Valentine. This is the Monday through Thursday reading, so I'm going to use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I will pull one from my Guardian Angels. Then I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I am going to be using my tarot cards, my, uh, what is it, Weight Rider tarot cards, and I may pull one from my Osho Zen tarot also. But this will be, these two decks will only be for the introduction, which this is, this is just what's going on in this crazy old world introduction. And for your individual sign, just go to the little timestamp that I put down there and you can bypass the introduction, okay? But if you can bypass, if I can speak. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So we're entering into March season. March is going to be quite interesting, especially that week of... I think it's the week of the 14th. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on there. Um, I will try to post that. I have to kind of do a little bit of a write-up, but I, I, we have the Ides of March on the 15th. Um, we have a full moon. What is that on the 18th? And that will be in Virgo. So that will have some stabilizing effect. Um, we're also going to have, um, we're going to be ushering in right when we go from Pisces into Aries. We will be going into the equinox for the northern hemisphere. That's the spring. Southern hemisphere. That's the fall. That is when light and day are are in an equal. You know, are equal. That is also when the veil between this world and that, um, you know, is very very thin. So, and we have something else going on. The, um, so we have the 15th I talked about. Something's going on the 16th and 17th. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we do have. Um, we do have. St. Patrick's Day, so that's an interesting energy at the same time. And something's going on the 16th, too, that I, I just have to kind of refresh my memory a little bit. So we've got some interesting energies going on that week. So put that week aside. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you not to make vacation plans. I'm just going to say just be aware. Anyway, um, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message and just let's see where we're going. Remember too, we are the we are light workers. We are the ones that counter a lot of the darkness that's going on. So do not be afraid of what it is going on. I know there's a lot, you know, a lot of stuff and it's very hard not to um, buy into fear. But the thing is when we buy into fear or when we allow fear to enter us, and I fear sometimes, you know, gets us motivated to make some changes. So I'm not saying that it's not always, you know, it does not always help help us. But if we allow it to um, bring us into depression or bring us into um, just a state of hopelessness, that keeps us from doing what we are meant to do. And what we're meant to do is help to balance that out and equalize that darker energy with our light. Okay, so just know that. Uh, many of us are star seeds, light workers, um, healers, energy workers, and that's why you have come here. Okay, so yeah, I've told you to that I you have prayed, meditated, infused the decks with Reiki energy. Um, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, but something before we end, before we go into the readings is March 2nd is the time is the time of the new moon it will be a new moon in pisces it does start a new season um, it is a time remember full moon to new moon is when you get rid of things it's waning new moon to full moon is waxing it's getting bigger and that's when you request the new moon start is a wonderful time to start new projects remember this is pisces season it is the ending of an astrological year and, you know, so this new moon does go, you know, this new moon with Pisces does go into some of the darker areas, the depths, to help to bring them to the light. Okay? Okay, so new moon request. Request, request, request. Um, let's go on. Let's see what we also have. And if anything does come to mind, I'll let you know. Okay. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Please get the videos to other people. Even if you just 
put on the playlist and just go and do something else, you know, it does help. So thank you very, very much. It helps to keep me going. It helps to keep me, um, you know, basically doing what I'm doing. And you all have supported me so, so much. And I do, I want to thank you for that. I really, really do. Uh, next week, I hope that my schedule does, you know, does stabilize a little bit. I don't think it will possibly the week afterwards. Again, do not be in fear. And I feel like we need to go ahead and just do one of the OSHA Zen Tarot cards right here. Um, remember, okay, and you want to come out. Okay, remember OSHA Zen Tarot is more like advice cards. Anything reversed has stronger energies. And if we get a lot of the um, earth, I mean, get a lot of the energies itself, you know, air, fire, um, air, fire, earth and water. I'll talk a little bit about what that is too. Watch the numbers. First card is, okay, so that is reversed. We do have a four. Four has stabilization. It does have uh, leadership. It does have organization. This is just one of those pissy moments. This is just one of those, what the heck is going on here? I don't like where I'm at. This is the card that I, this is the four of cups. Cups is our water energy. It is Pisces. Again, we're in Pisces season. It is also, you know, we're going to be into that Pisces new moon. And it is also Scorpio and Cancer. Fluid, very emotional, very spiritual too. And this is just, this is kind of a season of discontent. I call this the in-between card. And any of the cards that come up, you know, um, Raph, yeah, Raphael is water in one of the decks. And also there's just water. Any of those cards, I call this the in-between. This is... Also, this is kind of like wait and see. It's just, but we don't take it well. We're just not taking it well. So here's these three cups. We're looking at these three cups, or he's looking at these, these three cups, and he's like, I don't like you. This is not where I want to be. You're not satisfying me. Here out of the divine is this hand out of a cloud offering another solution. And yet, I don't know if you're just not, or just we are just not ready to see that. Or it's just, no, you know, I just get this in-between type of energy with this. It's just, and it also has a wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. But it's also, I feel very discontented as we wait and see. Next card is, okay, so now we have a nine. Nine has a completion energy to it. We've got everything we need. So let's wrap it up. Let's do this. But this is swords. Swords is our... Um, Gemini, our Libra, it's our Aquarius, it's our thought processes, it's our hearing news. It's, you know, it, it has um, flowing thought energy. You know, I kind of have my little electrical thing going on or whatever that is. It might be a cellular thing too, but it's kind of like things are in flux. But the Nine of Swords is really saying to you, you know, it's really, and you know, I don't know if it's you per se, but the world, it's just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening? You know, it's sleepless nights. It's not having a good, it's not having good thoughts. It's not hearing good news. It's just sleepless nights. What is going on? What is going on? The thing about this card is what we see is not really what is happening. So let it go if you're able to. I'm not saying that thing, that people do not um, have bad things happening to them, or that bad things won't be happening this week, per se. Bad things will always be happening. We always have good things. We always have bad things. But this, you know, this has a, things are an illusion right now, okay? This is, again, and I know, that dang old, and I said dang, that dang old Saturn in Aquarius, illusion versus reality. Now, the good news is, is I think around the fourth or fifth, some of the things that are in Capricorn, I think Mars and Venus, um, will be going into Aquarius energy, and I think that will be very positive. So, but right now, so we're discontented, we're just having sleepless nights, we're just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? A lot of it is an illusion. You know, um, my husband has a, a saying, basically, um, you know, believe half of what you see and nothing yet that you hear. Okay, let's go on to our next card. And now again, reversed. Were they all reversed? Okay, anyway, eight. Eight has unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. This is, you know, again, we do have that, even though it's a new moon for, for 
Pisces. I talked about that full moon with Leo going forward, so we do have that. This is, feels like this is the culmination, especially around that new moon. It's like the new moon Pisces is kind of like, you know, hidden things coming up, but this has that full moon, you know, kind of like, okay, now we're 14 days past the full moon. Get your gear on. Get your strength on. Get your armor on. Get your prayer stuff going, okay? So because this is a major arcana card, and this is all about strength. Be strong. Be strong of, you know, if you can be strong physically, but the thing is, it doesn't necessarily mean physical. We have a very strong, we have a very, um, very powerful uh, spiritual energy that we need to just really stand tall, stand together, and with that, there is strength in numbers, okay? So this is be strong through this time, be strong through this week. So let's go on and see. So yeah, the week, eh, you know what? We've been through worse. We, we, will be, we will be through better. And this is just one of those weeks to, you know, just kind of take some breaths, meditate, connect with higher power, you know, listen to your spiritual guides a lot. I do get kind of a four of um, four of swords energy. It's time for us to rest a little bit, but yet at the same time, the strength card is saying there's part of us that needs to rest from, and I think it's resting from the um, from the chaos, chaotic energy going on. But part of us also needs to be extremely strong during this week. Okay, this is the card that kind of came out from Osha Zen Tarot, and like I said, a lot of times this is advice card. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We are the world, so standing together. This is another major arcana. This is uh, the wheel of fate. This is the wheel. This is things are moving forward. But again, this is, again, we need to stand together. We need to be in support of each other. We need to, you know, in many ways, hold hands, dance, raise our vibrations, raise the vibrations of the earth. So if we're meeting people, if we're going to the store, if we're going out and we're meeting people that are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, you know, this is a beautiful day, let's just have a wonderful day, okay? Um, you know, I mean, you know that, you know, that, you know, and again, your spiritual beliefs are your spiritual beliefs, but there's a lot of things that we do connect with. And every day I try to say, you know, to people that are dear to me and close to me, you know, again, again, this is your spiritual beliefs. Um, try to see if this can adapt. But I always say, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it because, you know, the alternative isn't as much fun. So we have the world. We have faith. Things will be moving forward. Things will be changing. We just have to get through this. Stand together. Stand tall. And, you know, I kind of got this thing as I was just getting ready. Hold on to your hats. Okay. We will get through this. So again, remind you to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and let's start our readings now. Hello, my Libras. I think this is going to be an interesting new moon for you. I think it starts a new, I don't know, new thought process, new season for you. I think that you're going to have new hope or new direction at least. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's see what we've got here for my Libra. Okay, oops. <laughs> Cards have flown. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, well, we've got we've got four cards that have come up. The first card is Major Arcana, Major Ar Major Archangel card, Archangel Zedkiel. This is a 14, 1 New Beginnings, 10 Transition, 4 has stability, leadership, organization, solutions, solutions. This has answered, like I said, this new moon, something's going to happen where all of a sudden the puzzle pieces click. You know, things start to fall into place. Your, your thought processes, your brain, your guides, whatever it is, it's all of a sudden, it's like, I got it. This is what I need to do. It's, you know, this is finding solutions for some of the problems that you've been having or some of the concerns you have, or just general, I just don't know what to do. So the general, I don't know what to do, the pieces click. Place, you know, the ideas start to come. Libras, you are some, you are idea, you are people that have wonderful and big ideas. And now it's like, it's like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that before? Success that comes from objective compromise, 
self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So let's see, our next card is, make sure that that feels like, no, it is, it is the 10 of Gabriel. 10's transition, Gabriel is fire energy, fire energy is our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. Gabriel, 10 of Gabriel is very fast. This There's like, you know, there's like so much energy that if you don't feel like you have the time to get everything done. And maybe that's why you need the solutions. Maybe that's why you need the, you know, need, oh my gosh, how am I going to get everything done? And then the answers come, okay? But the 10 of Gabriel is extremely fast energy. Is ex You know, it does have its challenges, but I go with the solutions. The answers do come. Okay, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying to please, trying too hard to please others. I do feel that this has some answers for that part too. Um, again, you know, my Libras, I have been seeing you get, I don't know, do, is this, I have been seeing you, I don't want to say get stronger, but be a little bit more determined in what, or a little bit more, um, I don't know, what do we want to say this is? You, you, you're more decided on what you will accept but you're also decided on what you won't accept. And you're becoming a little more verbal with that too. So that's trying too hard to please others. And I'm kind of feeling kind of like a, uh, I don't know that I want to please the people as much as I have in the past. Okay, Queen of Michael. Queen's underlying energy is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Michael is your energy. Okay, also Gemini and Aquarius thought processes making plans. The Queen of Mother, the Queen of Mother, the Queen of Michael cares deeply, care, cares a lot, really loves the people that she loves. However, she's also very wise and very objective. And again, I get this, I get this kind of feeling like I am so tired of, and I, I think I've said this before, I'm tired of taking the brunt of the situation. I'm tired of being the scapegoat. I'm tired of just, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired. So the Queen of Michael stands up. Your energy stands up and says, okay, let's look at this really objectively. Let's look at this without all of the emotions because my Libras, you do feel and you feel deeply. So you look at it and you're kind of like, nah, uh-uh, I can't do this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. Okay. Anyway, that's what I'm getting. So I'm not saying you're quitting your job, getting divorced, nothing. It's just, you you know, again, my Libras, you talk about boundaries. You know I'm always talking about boundaries. And again, this has a, you know, may, and then maybe you're going to talk about it. I feel, you know, maybe you're going to communicate with someone else about whatever this is, the problem is. I feel like you, ha you know what to, you know the solution, you know what to do. You're just going to get started doing it now. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, time for your career rather than your relationships. And then we come to the King of Gabriel. Now, King's underlying energy is air, yours. Gabriel again, fire. Now, the King of Gabriel sees big. The King of Gabriel is large. The King of Gabriel, you know, instead of focusing on the little day-to-day -day mini, you know, little, the little minutiae, the King of Gabriel is looking at the bigger picture. And this is like when somebody says, okay, you know, maybe somebody's at a certain age and they're like, is this what I'm going to do all my life? And because of that, they say, I don't want to do this all my life. And because of that, they make some changes. They go get some training. They go change their job. They, you know, I, I, you know what, I'm not trying, I'm, nobody's going to quit their job, but they make some changes. They start looking at other options in their life. And King of Gabriel says, look at those other options. Look at what's out there for you, okay? I'm not saying that you need to not stay on your path, but the path widens, okay? And that's where those solutions come. Choices, choices, but these are your choices, my Libras. Anyway, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. So there is this thing, there is this, you know, oh no, I, you know, you you want to make sure everyone is fine, everyone is dandy. But the thing is, you're also looking at yourself a little bit more and saying, I got to, I have to do a little more for me. I have to do a little more for me. And that's where that solutions come in. So we have a 1410 
or a, or 0141. So I would just bring it down to the 141 as your numbers. And let's see what we have here. Yeah. It just it's it's so okay, so the energies are not necessarily easy energies this week, but there's a lot of growth here. There's a lot of decision making this week for you too. There's kind of a lot of what will I what will I accept? What will I not? Anyway, this card is reversed. The guardian of action. Now, it's interesting because the guardian is the king. Action is the king of fire, king of Gabriel. So this is confirmation to this. It's time you it's time for you to step up. And be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun. So this is what this is all about with this. You know, be objective. Think things through. But this is your moment in the sun. So move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. You may or may not love the spotlight, but... It looks like the spotlight is going to be loving you. Okay, so the thing there's there's lots of there there's this conflict. Your scales are all out of balance, but you know there are solutions. You got to look at that big picture. You got to step up. So it's 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 got a really good overview. It's got a really good outcome. It's got a really good goal oriented energy. It's just not always easy to get through. It, you know, the, the pathway is just a little muddied, okay? But you get there, and that guardian of action, King of Gabriel, that's your confirmation. Anyway, let's see what we have here. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Libras? Reversed pyrite. Good change of fortune. Success. Renewed focus. Leadership. Again, we have the leadership here. Interesting. So again, this is this is this is one of those times, my Libras, to step up. Yes, there is boundaries here. There is, you know, some, you know, where you need to go or where what you need to then not have them step over. But it is again, it's time for you to step up, take charge, take control over your life. How's that? Again, your choices. Anyway, my Libras, take a moment to please like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.